very hot. It's hot and steamy in here. I'm just kidding. It's just hot. It's not steamy. No, it's hot. <laughs> lighting here but hi guys so today I'm gonna try vlogging we're gonna use my iPhone see how that goes but I wanted to show you my outfit I have a little love shack fancy dress and some white boots and then have my gold bracelets and that's it so yeah we're gonna go run some errands um, probably go to Target antique shops and yeah we'll see what we do Vlogging for my YouTube. What are you doing? Vlogging. Vlogging. Vlogging, yeah. yeah. It's like videotaping. Oh. So say hi to YouTube. Hello. In the pool in style with Selena Gomez towel. Yeah, the one that you paid for. <laughs> yeah, overpaid. No, no, that wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> Davison. Oh, no gift for you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> one for you and one for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> Oh, wait, let me get you in there. <laughs> Behind the scenes of uh, freaking Snapchats. Some barbecue. It's just really chill and cool. So I don't know where I put my drink. So hold on one. Oh, I left it in here. Sick. Or in my brother's room. Cheers. chic harness got it from the brand laura ashley she's so cute and rocking it 
And we got porn. She's not shabby chic yet, but he'll be shabby chic soon. Hi. This is a part of the vlog. Very hot. It's hot and steamy in here. I'm just kidding. It's just hot. It's not steamy. No, it's hot. <laughs> so, let's get on into it. The first thing that I got is this little, like, tea canister. And I just thought that it looked a very, um... Like, elegant. Elegant and classy. So, she's got a little cap. And then you could just put like tea bags or actually you could really put whatever you want in here but she was only 75 cents so I thought that was really cute got this cute little vintage bridal clutch well it was in the bridal section I'm not really sure if it actually is bridal but she's got little diamond studs at the top and then when you open it she's like a blush pink which I thought was really cute and it also comes with a little coin bag oh my gosh that's kind of dirty though gonna have to wash this but you know what when you antique shop you can't be picky like this is the kind of stuff you get <laughs> and the next thing I got is super cool it's this like vintage pastel hat that they used to wear back then um, don't worry I put Lysol on this I got this not to wear though I got this just to um, I want to have a wall one day when I move out that is just gonna have a bunch of antique hats on the wall and I saw Gabby do this like a long time ago in like her cottage that she used to have in LA. And I thought that was a freaking cute idea. And this one was only $10, so it wasn't that bad for like a vintage hat, you know? And I also got, I don't even know what this is necessarily, but she's got florals and little bows on her. Let's see. Look at how cute. Is she focusing? I don't know if it's like an egg holder, but what I do is at night, I just put my bracelets in there. It's like a little jewelry holder. I don't really know what it's for, but it was only $2, so I was like, okay, she cute, she cute, let's get her. Last things that I have are just literally plates because I don't know if I've said it before in a video, but I want to make a plate vintage wall. I want to make a vintage plate wall thing. So I got this one, which is very cute, pastel. Um, I think it said on the label that these are Japanese vintage plates, so I was like, cute. So I also got this one. It's like a mint green with a pink, just like Envision on the wall. It's not a plate, but this is a jewelry dish, and I want to focus. Okay, so this is also, it says hand-painted tone Peter's early 1900s. Well, that's freaking cool. So, I don't know, you could use this as a soap dish, you could use this to put your jewelry on. I just thought she was cute, and she was literally only $2. Bam. Last plate that I got is this little cute, like, ribbon-themed bow plate, and they had two of these, but I was like, Dude, if you don't have four or like six, then I can't even get like a whole set. So I was like, I'll just get one to add to like the different plates that I have. But I've been collecting a bunch of them. So you could just imagine when I get my own place, it's going to be aesthetic. Aesthetic AF. This antique store, I always go to, they always have great stuff. I found like the majority of the things that are in my room are from that antique store. They always have good prices and good items, so yeah. But yeah, that's the little mini haul, a part of this vlog. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I'm trying to get into vlogging. It is a little difficult because I don't have a Canon G7X, like, so I'll have to use, like, my iPhone. And sometimes when I try to export, like, different videos from my iPhone to my laptop, they just... Either the quality is crap or it just has technical difficulties and doesn't want to send through um, airdrop. So I don't really know. I'm trying to figure it out. But so the last thing that I want to leave you guys off with before I end this video is I just wanted to leave a little message. I want to start incorporating this more into my videos. I want to do maybe, maybe I could do like a series on faith. I just wanted to leave you off with something that has really spoken to me within the past few weeks. Whatever situation that you're dealing with currently at this moment, whether it's painful, whether it's 
happy and awesome and whatnot. To remember that God made a promise that whatever he started, he will finish and see it through. So like, he's not just gonna leave you midway into this journey of like, maybe you're in pain or whatever. Like, he's not just gonna abandon you. You have to understand that like, God is always with you and he's carrying you through it and he will seek to finish it. And a lot of times, it is hard for us to see it, but whatever it is, like God already intended that you were gonna be there and he's gonna use it to one, either show someone else like your journey and two, teach you something. And to maybe he's trying to teach you to like really understand and trust him that like, hey, you don't have control over every single thing. And at the end of the day, it's like God already knows where, what he's gonna do with your brokenness and he's gonna use that into something awesome and good for his kingdom and you just have to trust that you're in the midst of whatever situation you're going through but it's not over and God does promise it to finish it through so that is just something that I've held on to because it is really reassuring to know like hey I'm only I'm only in the in between stages of whatever situation I'm going through and even though Maybe it's painful or maybe it's good, right? Like, I just know that it's not over. And, you know, once you get to that point, you'll realize like, hey, maybe I was supposed to learn this or like this situation really impacted so-and-so, which also affects their life, you know? And I just try to remember all the time that you're like interconnected with other people. I don't even know where I'm going with this, honestly. Besides just the fact that like, just trust that God will finish through with whatever he started and he's not just going to abandon you halfway. I don't know if that made sense or anything, but I just wanted to leave you guys with that reassurance that whatever situation you're going on through, why is it that the gardeners are always here when I'm filming? Like, I don't get that. Anyways, whatever situation you find yourself in, just remember that God Whatever he has started, he will finish it, and your brokenness is not just a waste. Like, don't think that you're always going to stay there because he can turn that into something so beautiful and something that's going to change your life, but we also have to be the ones to, like, seek God and seek, you know, the resources that he's provided because the resources are there. It's just we have to make the initiative to want that, you know, to want that relationship with God, to want that connection, to want to be better, to want to learn from our mistakes, to want to learn from the pain. So that is what I will leave you with. Um, that was just like a mini trailer into whatever faith videos I end up doing in the future. But yeah, um, I hope you guys liked this video. Video. <laughs> I hope you guys liked this video. I'm really bad at talking apparently. I just hope that you guys had a good weekend, good Father's Day, and comment down below what kind of videos you guys want to see from me next. Um, I kind of want to do a lookbook for summer, so maybe we can do that, but let me know if you guys like the vlogs better, or if you like the sit-down videos, or maybe we could do like what I'm doing now, which is a combination of the two, but yeah. Anyways, I will see you guys all in my next video, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um... Yeah, okay, bye guys.